Good morning, growers. Happy weekend. Welcome to Dude Grow Show. Today, we're hanging out, talking grow. Actually, how far we've come with grow equipment, nutrients. Man, growing is easy these days. I got some geeked out equipment I want to talk about. I just got. And uh, what's up, Scotty, Banner, Grandpa? We got the crew, the weekend crew, hanging tight. Yeah, what's up, everybody? Banner, how you living? Excellent. Yeah, Grambo. Yo. I think we're all we're, we're all uh, on concentrates today, aren't we, man? There hasn't been a power <laughs> pre the whole day. Yeah. Monday, Hot Rod, you know, he put the Kavorka on us. We've been pretty high all week. I'm really. We had a qual- quality pre-show today. We're going to see what's going on. Hi. All right. So yeah, you, got, you guys are all, well, I got to catch up. Pre-show for you guys was just a bunch <laughs> of and, and kitten ivory. <laughs> yeah. Bro, we have, okay, so can I just, uh, I have to just tell everybody really quick. So you can say, Scotty, don't grow all you want, but dude, this emergency is amazing. pressed out is ridiculous. I can grow I, somebody else's I'm stuff. being made fun of because I keep saying that I can still taste it. It's got, it's got flavor. It is super terpy. Yep. Beautiful. Yeah. Beautiful It's really stuff, good, man. man. All right. So if we see Excellent a little job today, to both that's, of you. that's the deal. But, hey, man, I wanted to reminisce a little bit. I was thinking about back in the day. uh, Actually, it was uh, my buddy. I won't mention him by name, but it's sitting on a whole bunch of HPS lights. And I was just like, man, I remember using those back in the day when those like double ended were the most advanced thing. And now you can get them for 20 bucks a piece, you know, because just just the progression of things, man. They're banned in certain places. Yeah, I bet, man, because you get twice as much light from an LED. Anyway, it just got me thinking of like how far we've come <laughs> since the first time uh, that at least I saw a grow or tried to grow. Yeah, when was the first time you saw a grow? Your own grow? Buddy's grow? Your dad's grow? No, your dad didn't grow. He My butt. <laughs> the guy I used to get good weed from back in the day in Tallahassee, Florida. And uh, right. yeah, he, he was a dealer and then somebody came back and he is cool because he had all the classic strains. He's like, I got a Durban poison and he had Afghani and he had Northern Lights number five, like all the classics, you know, <laughs> uh, but it, and he was such a small time grower. He was like literally a guy in a closet with. I remember I felt bad. He didn't steal it, but somebody allegedly stole a light from a car dealership like a 400 watt <laughs> nice. HPS light from the car dealership. And that was the light like hanging with like wire and shit, you know, crazy. It's awesome, man. First grow. I went to jail for five what? years for that grow, by the way. Ooh. <laughs> yes, he did, man. Yeah. It's come a long way. You know, we come a long way and all, all sorts of aspects of it. Well, what I mean, yeah, there's <laughs> consequences back then. That's like what I see. I mean, the first grow I saw was in, I lived in Missouri and somebody had just a shanty grow in a bedroom, you know, just like like the bedroom wasn't changed at all to be much of a grow. Just some lights hanging and plants here and there. Not like no white poly walls or anything. Yeah. That. <laughs> you, know, you never try super hard with the value of it. But then again, I didn't I question like I don't really want to see people's grows because people would only show so many people their grows. And if somebody went down and got in trouble, you're going to start thinking about who you shoot. You're like, yeah, that's something to grow to. I don't want any fingers pointed at me for any shit. And then the second grow, I guess, official grow would have been yours, Scotty, down in Florida. <coughs> you know I mean? mm-hmm. Why do people decide to show people their grow? Is it just, uh, it's they know like- them. They like them. They trust them. Because it's awesome. When you have this thing and it's your hobby and it's going awesome. Well, yeah, you couldn't share it with yeah. many people in those Yeah, because there's no chicks to show it to. That's the only reason I would show it to you, dude. There's none to impress. Yeah. yeah. No, but it is fun when you because it's like opening up a new world to somebody. Hey, I know you like weed. Come check this out. It is pretty cool if you've never seen it before. Oh my right? god, like, man! There's no idea what a plant would look like. These plants are beautiful. Yeah, that's for sure. I hundred percent. You do want when you you don't have anybody to show something to. You're kind of got that like little itch. Like man, I'd love to yeah. show it with somebody. And now, what do you say? You said girl. I didn't have any girls. I didn't never use that kidding. as elaborate as wife. That was okay. I didn't know if you like, ever dated a girl. Like, oh, let me show her the grow. I'm gonna. Get uh, <laughs> I say that at the bar when we're still at the club. Yeah, come on, man. I'll show you my grow. <laughs> yeah, works every time. Fifty percent of the time. time. <laughs> that would never work. Don't try that. Right? Oh, she grandma. What was yes. the first time you seen a girl? I remember my buddy, my best friend's brother went to Hawaii and he knew that I was like the biggest pothead of any of his friends. 
So he's like, hey, Grambo, you're running my grow when I go to Hawaii. Here's my keys. <laughs> feed my dog. Feed my plants. I, it was an aeroponic system. I did. I, I was not doing it very well. So, yeah, my first experience with the grow, awesome. I just had to get this, like, agenda. It's like, ah, no, I'm going to kill it. And, yeah, I didn't kill it, but he was not thrilled that he got home. Oh man, that's funny. Yeah, yeah that is funny. What about this? How many strange? Yeah. How did you say? Ad, ad, you say it's Ajita. 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 Scott always corrects my grammar. I'm just <laughs> like and I would say, uh, and I'm grateful for that. I say things incorrectly and sound a fool. Oh um, no, I just dated an Italian girl, and I caused her lots of Ajita. All right, it came up a lot. Man. Ajita. <laughs> yes. What were the strains like back then? Did you have much selection? I mean, you grew for a while before I ever grew. And was it really hard to be able to switch it up at all? Or you just had to network with other growers? Because obviously there was nothing like seeds here now or, you know, like <laughs> seed banks now are very prevalent. It's not hard to get them. There was. Nah, there were seed banks you could order from. I remember Nirvana Seed Bank was back in the day and they would. High times. It would, back pages of high times. Yeah, it would show up. I've definitely gotten seeds from back in the day. But, um. Not as many people doing it, though, for sure. And there definitely was as many places to get it. Yeah. I wasn't on an island back then. It was all know? from Holland, right? They were, At yeah. that time, I mean, that's where you were getting them from. They were shipping them out of Holland, pretty much. Again, I just remember the G13. The G13, I hope to kind of met up with this crew. And by the way, you kind of needed to be a little part of you know, a crew. Yeah. Because what are you going to do with 40 pounds of weed? You know what I mean? <laughs> So allegedly, press it. <laughs> yeah, right. Press it into four ounces, bro. Anyway, man, but we had a couple of money maker cuts. G thirteen was the big money maker cut for us back in the day. Yeah. Okay. That's still a class. That's a, that's a classic. I see you got some listed here, like Durban Poison. Ironically, that was the first strain I grew from bringing uh, seeds back uh, right on. from the Netherlands on a Europe a European trip. Uh, a, first, true, a true F one hybrid. Bro, okay. First one, yeah. First Northern Light uh, NL5, first one I remember. <laughs> like I, having a name. All I could think of was you, dude, because uh, Banner was just, we were getting deep into his seeds and he was t- teaching us what a true F1 hybrid is. And all I could think of was, dude, just rolling his eyes, man. Rolling his eyes. It's funny. You know, it's good. And I'll just power. I want to know some of it. I just don't necessarily need to know BX this and I don't I know. Doubt. The, the different ones. Is it going to grow some dag? Is it feminized or not? Is it an auto flower or a photo? Yeah. Right, yeah. We stopped before BXs, man. All right. We stopped. <laughs> well, at I mean, you should right? know the, you should have, you know, some basic knowledge. It's funny that you don't have to go I'm, real I'm deep. smoking BX right now. This is Tropicana BX1 right here. Really? Yeah. And I, I usually will, if I go to a dispensary and I don't really know what to do, anytime I see numbers, oh, this is Gorilla Glue 4, this is BX1. So it's like, I'll go with it. It's, if you're throwing numbers in, you, you, you know something. Yeah, and if it's yeah. a higher number, that means they had a bigger selection. So if you see like gelato, like four hundred seventeen, right. yeah, you know it was from a big hunt. Yeah, dude. if you see like gelato number nine, it's like, ooh, that's probably a good. One. <laughs> I only smoke RBXs. Stay right. away from the number one and number two; those are lame. Like <laughs> seat, <laughs> like tent, tent oh, seat Grambo, Grambo is not smoking. Grambo, you're vaping something with that yeah, stick I there. Like, I mean, I believe. You know, P stick. Awesome. We're all vaping, man. We're all, uh, yeah. yeah. It's all about the dash, dude. Bro. That's one, that's one thing that changed a bit for sure because <laughs> one of my friends, uh, my son's friend actually came over the other day, um, to borrow a snowboard to go board and he's just learning. I'm like, shit, I, yeah, I'm not using it. And he's like, hey, you want to try this? And he called it like, it's got a grape, something, and it was just like a, a vape pen with a, a card on the end i'm like what is it do you know what the thc content or like uh, what type of what type of juice is in there he's like i don't know it's grape like <laughs> <laughs> grape juice man it's <laughs> great what more do you want remember the bizarro juice no yeah there was something that uh, that called bizarro juice man and it was supposed to just make your the liquefier i remember yeah. the liquefier was one back in the day yeah there was all stuff to make your dabs in two carts Oh, yeah. Creepy. Don't do it, man. Your card should just wait. Have- and then you have like a <laughs> syringe and you inject it. Like they should just have pure concentrate in there. They should not have any cut. Hey, I got a new shout out here, guys. A new friend, sponsor and friend literally of the show Lost Coast Plant Therapy. Uh, me and my boy were traveling down through Northern California and uh, Dirk said, hey, you guys need a place to stay. So we, we had a sleepover. We all hung out, got to know each other. 
Um, and this is how DVC sponsors. Yeah, yeah. Sure. It's, uh, what, sure. Sleepover's okay. What is that? All right. Yeah, man. Just hang out, get to know each other, man. Sounds yeah. nice. When you were a kid, like sleepover is how you're going to like the next level with your friends. Like you're like more of a friend than friends that didn't sleep over at somebody's house. You know what I mean? So it's like good times. <laughs> anyway, <All right>. uh, <laughs> Northern Cali, man. OGs in the scene. There are growers up there and they have a really cool IPM product. Lost Coast Plant Therapy dot com. Um, it is a great product. No chemicals. Zero. What do I say? I'm just trying to sound technical. Like no time on re-entry points. Um, it takes care of mites, mildew. Uh, you got thrip action. A great across-the-board IPM product. So if you go to Lost Coast Plant Therapy, check out their sizes. Their smallest 12-ounce bottle does like nine gallons. Concentrate. Bunko Dude saves you 20%. And JROG. Thank you, JR Wasufa. <laughs> These are DDC cats that brought this product to my head. And that's how we love to bring people into our community of growers. So Lost yeah. Coast Plant Therapy, coupon code DUDE. Check them out. Scotty, you got some at the, the hangar over there for you. <laughs> well, going on. Excellent. So we got, what did yeah, you call it? We'll get... Re-entry time? The REI. The re-entry interval is uh, just, but for real, man, you, there's a lot of pesticides and whatnot that you got to wait 12, 24 hours before you can go in because they're nasty. Mm-hmm. When something has no re-entry interval, uh, that means it's yeah, safe. Nothing. Nothing nasty here. Uh, One-Eyed Cat has actually been using it. Uh, the only time that when he stopped using it because he was so down and out was when he got, you know, that unfortunate russet, which he's almost totally reset from. Uh, but, yeah, thank you, Lost Go Plant Therapy. Welcome aboard. You guys will be hearing more as time right goes on. on back to the show. Hey, if dude vouches uh, for you, you're all right with me. <laughs> as, and if JR vouches for you, that's who introduced him <laughs> to me originally. Right. Uh, he sent me a clone, two clones, and a little bottle of Lost Coast. And it's like... JR's a pro, man. I'm all right. He's all right with me. He's all right. He's a good kid. Come on, dude. I want to stroll down memory lane a little bit, man. Sure. Let's talk about the equipment. I mean, Grow Lights is the most obvious one, no, as far as like what your first setup was. My first setup was a compact fluorescent. I knew I was. Was it? <laughs> I knew I wasn't going to have. You got a crazy picture here. You should throw this picture. I'm like, show this one. Know. No, the CFL grill. Come on, he's got one on the end yeah. too. <laughs> I don't want to assume gender, but a dude definitely built it. That's right. Hold on. It's a well, one, two, three, right? four, five, six, seven, eight, eleven. Nine, <laughs> There's eleven. <laughs> eleven so, lighter. I, I I ran an eleven lighter back in the day. Yeah. <laughs> what are those? Like twenty three watts each or something like that. <laughs> That's awesome. No, they're the, dude for the cost of that. You know, and you could get this. You could show just what's next. The like a hundred watt. Our spec from HLG would be cost is all those. Yeah. So the difference <laughs> in how far it's come with lighting has been very obvious. I don't even think people, other than double ended, you mentioned double ended earlier. Commercial growers, a bit of them that were set up in DEs are still rocking DEs. I think that's because the cost to switch everything out. Yeah. Not many people I hear, other than Sunny and Bactopia, due to environmental reasons needing the heat, are rocking anything with HID, HPS, metal halide. They're up to three U moles per joule. And uh, old HIDs like 1.4, you know, let's say they got up to two with the super, you know, with the uh, uh, double ended. Man, you still, that's a 50% savings, right? Power savings. We got yeah. that right. It's close. All right. A watt's a watt, yeah. man. Yeah. But how much light you get out of that watt? If you're getting Wait, 20 right. lumens out of a watt or 60 lumens out of a watt. And by the way, what you're, what you're losing in lumens, you're gaining in heat. Now, Watt's going somewhere. I see here next, you got the uh, Justa Wing here, the first lights. This Grow Wing actually <coughs> held its own for many years. I don't know if this is the Justa Wings <coughs> that I used to use, but yeah, right. we were yeah. getting reports. Remember those ones had the growth? string across it? They did. Yeah, That's yeah. how you adjusted them. Yeah. Yeah. You adjusted the string. Yeah, exactly. the joint, yeah those held on up until like maybe five or six years ago. Back I got to be honest. for silver. Yeah, that's silver. That's a parabolic silver. reflector, man. Uh, all right. Yes, yes, yes. Uh, yeah. By the way, uh, that is available on Amazon, or not on Amazon, but I just Googled that, and that's from a property <laughs> page. I thought you were going to say at Real Grower. <laughs> <laughs> I have 200 of them, slightly used. <laughs> ah, good stuff, man. Well, check out the, even the, remember the ballast. That was only one part of the system. Oh. I got a link here if you wanted to scroll them. So these were like, what, 10, 15 pounds each? Just for the lighting, like that, you do need ballast. Um, 10, 15 pounds. Hang on. They were like 
Oh, that's a digital ballast you got, man. The old school ones were like 25 pounds each, man, and they would hum and they would get hot. Yeah. These no, are, that's fancy digital yeah, ballast, these are, man. These are new school ones. Remember yeah. the smell? I was oh, just thinking the smell. There you go. There's the old ballast. When they, oh, when yeah. they would burst, you, you would just smell that smell. Burning. No, yeah. it's like, uh-oh, I burnt, blew a ballast. And by the way, those things on 120 and on regular power were nine and a half amps. It would suck. Okay. That is insane. If you put that most uh, um, outlets are 10 or 15 amp max, (laughs) you'd pull that out after, you know, six months. I would have little burn around the yeah, wire. Yeah. Hot, yeah. And then you want to maybe be in an old house, I guess. <laughs> because 10 amp breakers. Do you have any 10 amp breakers at your house currently? That's going to be like something. So. Yeah, I don't think so. Uh, the, the digital ballast, though, when they came along, like slick. they looked slick. It was like a car amp. You know, they were smaller. They had a dimming feature, but they caused more problems than anything. Just quick back. <laughs> one, one, the, the dimming feature on a digital ballast has to be compatible with a, the proper dimming bulb. So people would be dimming sense. other bulbs and they just go out or the spectrum would be affected. And then I had a cat that ran a grip of these, um, like six or so. And he had like a ham radio geek in his neighborhood, like one of those dudes. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. That is a thing. I heard a lot of and stories then, about people getting busted because of ham well, radio he, operators. I don't know. The, yeah. the, the radio dude found where he was mm-hmm. and he was a metal shielded. grower and Actually came, I don't know if it was law enforcement or who it was, but since he had his card and he's like, yeah, come in and check my plant count, everything was fine. But they literally found him because of his digital ballots. And you could walk yeah. around like Grandma was saying, they figured out how to walk around with some type of radio thing. And it, when it, you heard this certain buzz, you're like, dude, something, something's going on here. Something's going on. Mm-hmm. So super yeah. sketchy. They've gotten a lot better. Faraday cage. If you're you're in that situation, you got got to Google what a Faraday cage is. They're very easy to make. And you just electromagnetic shield all your ballast. I knew a lot of buddies that built Faraday cages for grows. I bet you did, Grandpa. Well, because remember, you'd walk into your grow and what what would you hear? Like it was just this electromagnetic energy radiating it. It was scary. It sounded like bees, you know? What about the... uh... The old school LED. I see you got a blurp on here. I had a 90 watt UFO. And yeah, that's. <laughs> What'd you say? I, I, I wasn't hating on it. It didn't do horrible, but the light looked horrible. And my tent would glow. Red. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, that doesn't look right, man. <laughs> it's not right. It's just triggering what there's. If you look at a photosynthesis chart. Uh, there's like a peak in the red and then a peak in the blue. And that's like where it's easiest to, to uh, generate uh, photons. Yeah. So they just photon, uh, they generate a whole bunch of red and a whole bunch of blue photons. And it turns out blurple. You know? Yeah. There's not anybody, I shouldn't say that, <laughs> in any quote professional LED companies running that color spectrum that we see now. It's just, hard to work under i'm not saying the plants don't dig on some of that spectrum but it's incomplete um, man they're not they're not evolved to grow under those two photosynthetic peaks yes that's where there's a lot of photosynthetic activity going on there but there's also they need all the light yeah white all the life isn't makes white. whiter better yes because it's got more spectrum and white has all the colors in it that's what i mean all it was always the measure of cri i remember back they cut the color rendering index the sun being 100 and so like hbs was like 60 like i remember that's why i got into cmh because it's like oh it's like 88 to 92 a lot of these modern leds they're like 98 cri yeah um i wanted to talk a little bit about gadgetry if you will because i just got this in the mail so one cool thing uh, we talk about it on the show. It's been trending the past six months, years. PPFD, <coughs> trying to understand how much light we're actually getting at Canopy. So the Photone app, which is, I think, light meter, light, growlightmeter.com. Yeah. yeah. And I was like, you know what? I'm going to test that <coughs> app versus my Pulse Pro. And I got very different numbers. I'm like, which one's right? I'm trusting the Pulse Pro. It's not an app. It's using its own proper, you know, Swiss made type par reading shiz. But then on the Photone site i was like you, you should get a diffuser for your phone so here we go this little clip thing here grandma there's a link i think maybe you just go right over and it's got this right over your lens like that and bam i've heard this gets a bit more accurate so i'm gonna go measure with this later because you know if you can get this light diffuser everybody's got a smartphone you gotta have some operating system or and i can get pretty sure. close to proper ppfd numbers that's an awesome <laughs> tool bro fascinating that's very cool i like that photon app 
Hmm. Yeah, I'm going to cross-reference it again later on the uh, versus the Pulse uh, Pro uh, versus the Photone app. I think I have the iPhone 12. Is really, I think that's, yeah, that's advanced stuff. It allowed me to install the app, so it should be proper. <laughs> And they tried to convince me to get another iPhone or newer, the newest thing. He's like, just always get, just get the newest phone. Phone? Everything. Uh, yeah. Yeah. And I was just yeah. Off Sometimes I think it's a big upsell that for like, I feel like I use 10% of what the shiz is that's available on it. I get it though for the cameras, man. It's nice to have a camera for bud pics and all that jazz. That's pretty much all it is. is I mean, you got 200 <laughs> megapixel camera, which I never use. But even like there's a 50 megapixel now. Damn, does that take good butt shots? Um, I wanted to throw in, if I can, <laughs> a question. Since it's Saturday show, yeah. do you guys ever have any, uh, like, traditions? I don't know. Like, for me, on a Saturday morning tradition, one, cartoons, of course, roll of that old sure. age Saturday morning. I don't know if they still do that. Uh, Buddies in the paper. But my folks, man, it would be time to wake up to some smell of bacon, maybe some chocolate chip pancakes. You know, maybe like wow. uh, my dad used to make this stuff called monkey bread, which was really infused cinnamon and cinnamon and gooey bread. Did you have like any weekend morning traditions, maybe pre stoner or post stoner? Man, dude, that's such an idyllic uh, growing <laughs> up. Right? Sorry, I was lost at cartoons. Yeah, so like, sorry, I'd wake up to an I'm empty carton of cigarettes. Smoke up, Johnny. <sighs> That's from the Breakfast Club. I'm only kidding. Oh, good. I don't know. I just had that. I had that. Had that memory of. Oh, don't say that. Now you're thinking of making me think of Saturday detention. I definitely had that a few times. Yeah, it was, you got the best uh, community service hours on the weekends, man. He can knock off like twenty. You know, nobody wanted to be there. Not even the teacher doing detention. It was such a pointless thing. You are right. Now that we're older, and he could be that you'd be the teacher that had to show up on Saturday morning for detention. No wonder you're best, man. Uh, yeah, you're just awesome. paying off that DUI, you know. <laughs> that's all good. We could take it back to girl. I was just going down memory lane. Let's talk about uh, no. Old, I used, you call these old school grow systems, but I don't think some of these really are that. They're not old. I tell you what, the first old. time. This what? is like stuff I think of when I think of like old school. I think of like these DWC buckets with the hydroton in there. Yeah. Like that's very 90s. Oh, yeah. No. Um, it's interesting. So when you see, like, I'll, I'll grab this this magazine here. This is Sense Amelia Tips. So this is out of the, probably the early 90s. Mm-hmm. Every ad in this magazine. I say Sense Amelia. Okay. Oh. Sense of media is some type of high <laughs> first, Sense of media. Let you gotta let go of the L, man. You gotta let go of the L. All right. Yeah. Scotty did an Italian. Y. Scotty did an Italian. <laughs> <laughs> the first ad is all about uh, the rainforest. Suddenly, all other hydro systems are obsolete. Everything in here that's talking about growing on all the back page is hydroponic systems. And I don't know why that happened. Why, how did that happen? Because like it was NASA and space used one and everybody's like, this is how we have to grow wheat. I know. Yeah, that's what I'm telling you. It took me so long to figure out that uh, you're supposed to grow in some kind of media and it was supposed to have mic- microbes and living things in it. Yeah. You know? but what? what how, how, why did that become popular, though? That stuff because they're cool because tech was cool back then. This is, is it because it's, it's easier to automate. No, it's because when you pull up the roots and you go, look at those crazy pearly roots, you're like, oh, man. But back in the day, you weren't showing off the roots to anybody. It's, it, I think it's because it was a technology product. It wasn't you're trying to grow. You were just plant. the early adopter. You were trying to I know grow. we always grew hydroponically and then aeroponically because of the media problem, getting rid of any sort of ah, ah. It's just not practical. Uh-huh. <laughs> yes. He's right. Yeah, yeah it's easy to get rid of water. On that. Yes. <laughs> Well, that you still have to get rid of a lot. Li- a little. No, bit. you wash the hell out of that hydro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We, you can we use wash it, it, reuse it. Yeah, too, bleach yeah. it and wash it. Yeah, ble- bleach and water. <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing today? The- well, I'm bleaching the hydroton and Grandpa's well, cleaning and the glass. And you remember that we was so valuable back then yep. that you could be like, dude, I'll smoke you up all day. Just come over. It's like, all right. Yeah. Yeah. You guys are way, I'm, that's a waste of time, man. For the price point on weed back then, I'd be like, I could spend time washing this shiz, or I could just throw it away and buy new stuff. <laughs> or I could have my Go friends, look at the brother dude. come over. This is the that's old, why this is yuppie dude, dude back in the day. <laughs> that's why <he's> <laughs> You're so complex, <laughs> man. Leave us some comments, though, if there's any other fingers you can point at. Like, why was hydro so popular? I don't have anything against it. And there still is media to get rid of. There's hydrogen, there's slabs, there's Hugo blocks. I remember those are still super Roots. popular. 
Because so, it speaks to the way people think, man. People think that, hey, technology is better than nature a lot of times. Mm. I, th- I do think that. And that was especially popular in the 90s. In the 90s, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. It was like, yo, <laughs> man. Thing. Hey, by the way, check out this other one. The alien hydroponics yeah. bee system. I mean, this is good. <laughs> this is what it's evolved into, man. That thing's pretty serious, huh? Yeah, that thing's hardcore. the same thing. It just... It is. I know. It's yeah. just the evolution of it, yeah, man. Yeah. As long as you got everything running right... That thing will scream for you. <laughs> but as soon as you get a pathogen introduced into there, or you probably need a chiller to keep the water temperatures down, uh, then it is a uh, pain in the butt, man. I have a question. Is this recirculating the water? Yes. That's a recirculating deep water culture system. Re- it is recirculating, though. And is is the recirculation the part that kind of like... No, it just requires a pump then, and then you've also got to aerate it. So I'm not sure if these need separate aerators. <laughs> pump it's pump driven yeah Yeah. and then it needs to be cool water because the water has to hold a certain amount of oxygen and right about 70 degrees is the ideal range for it to uh, saturate with oxygen because that's you you need oxygenated water so there's just a lot of components that can go wrong what what are you getting out of that versus just having a sip where it's driven by gravity and there's no recirculation insane growth (laughs) this thing man and when you pull the roots up it fills the whole bucket because you're able to deliver more nutrients yeah it's just the most aerated burst aerated yeah that's why yeah okay no, you cook it up. It's only six thousand two hundred forty dollars. Oh my god! <laughs> I'll take two. <laughs> Yikes! Wait, that's without the water chiller. I'm telling you, you need a chiller, uh, man. Yeah, that's, yeah. A, that's gonna be uh, <laughs> what? That's an extra. Three. Yeah, that's another five grand. Yeah, more like five oh grand. Yeah, god. Yeah, chillers are not Holy cheap. Cow. <laughs> that's an air conditioning for it the is kind of cool though, man. Looks all high tech. If you it's got like not a that nice cool. room. you know, I used to have a three horsepower chiller, and it was a, and you know, I'd have to buy them from the fish store from like the fish aquarium people. Yeah, and you knew something about fish. <laughs> yeah, and they would just be like, just, just. Like, all we wanted, bro. We've never seen you buy anything yeah. else fish related. Just said your cash. <laughs> yeah, that's all they cared about. Uh, oh. Hey, cool. how about the how about the water farm system though? This was one that I oh. used back in the day, and I. I uh, don't mind the water farm system. No, it's not showing. No one else <laughs> is out of stock. It's sold out. I think everyone else still enjoys it. No, the THC talk one. Yeah, I'll find it. Check out the link. You added up before. It's THC. I'm talk. surprised that it was at Walmart.com. I know. I don't know why Walmart.com. No, yeah, there you go. There you go. Whoa, you remember those? It's a. It was the little ring, and actually, that the way that aerated it is, it sucked. It had a little air pump. It pushed water. It pushed air down into that little water reservoir. Then it pushed it back up and through that ring, and the whole thing had just tons of air through it. And it was very smart way to uh, drip aerated. Yeah, aerated (laughs) root rot. (laughs) Yeah, you know what it is. If you just all the time. I ran the eight yeah. pack. Oh, two eight packs. Let's make a sixteen pack. Let's drill it all out. Let's make yeah. it damp. <clears throat> Less that that water gets warm. It's in a grow room. It's just yep. up, you know. It's eventually it's going to get close to the same temperature as your air. So it's for me, um, unless you're running your grow rooms in the low seventies or some shiz. Like I was always yeah. my battling fucking root rot, pain in the butt. You are right. You are right, sir. Brought me down memory lane though, man. So that's old school, right? And I will say, take a look. Here's my real buckets. And then when I was looking at the old, uh, the uh, other system, the water farm system, I was like, God damn, I've stolen about 90% of that. So thank you, water farm, for your inspiration. I try to do it with a couple less moving parts. Well, it's kind of like the the, the Hydratin old school 90s one versus that 6K one. This is, I think this is just the next ever. If I would have known about sip buckets... <laughs> You know, five, six years ago. Oh, right. my God. The amount of, like, just agita that it would have <laughs> saved me. Well, I know about them for five or six years. Still caused me a lot of agita uh, trying yeah. to figure out the right way to do it. Right, man. right. Yeah. But, yeah, shout out. Shout out to the new school, man. Yeah. That's shameless plug. New How school. dare me. It's good <laughs> How dare me. Good stuff. I stand by them, man. I love them. I love my buckets. Right Indeed. on. Peace. Is Hempy still alive? I was going to say he's rolling in his grave. He's coming for you. Right. That would be awesome. <laughs> Come <talk to> <laughs> Speaking of rolling, <laughs> woo! is this what he's rolling in, dude? Dude, that uh, is awesome. <laughs> 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 
Did I jump too far ahead? No, I, that's just great, oh, man. This good, is what we're talking about. Too good of a segue. Empy's <laughs> rolling in his. In this is his grave. <laughs> Wow, that is just such a cool story. I've idea. heard of people <laughs> doing these sort of things. I've never actually seen it. That was wild. The Rotary guy. That's what I would uh, invest yeah. in. I won the lottery. Just seven lights? I've, Come on. I've marketed this video, these people. towards cannabis growers for a little bit. And then it, I think it is actually a pretty good performing grow for like smaller herbs, maybe something, good use of space, but kind of not weed plants. <laughs> No, nah, that is crazy. Can you imagine just a, a pile of buds all in the center of that thing? <laughs> I love it. I love what it. Is this, what is the garage creative aspect of that video, though? What does that mean? Garage creative. I don't know. Is it real? That's, they created That's a cool name. Garage, yeah. Is it real, though? I don't know. Yeah, that thing's real. It's real? Oh, yeah. Okay. I think way to grow it. I was getting, like, not real vibes on that. No, they had one, and it dips into the water. As it goes around, it just dips into the reservoir. It's wow. pretty brilliant. Hey, time to visit growers. Listen up. Time to visit our pros list, dudegrows.com forward slash pros. Just to sum up before, we did mention the HLG 100 R spec, man. There are reports of DDC getting a QP to six ounces off of a 100 watt light. So that's, that's awesome. great. And we get in a coupon code, dude. Dudegrows.com forward slash pros has all the coupon codes listed out. I was also going to mention the, who else was on here that I wanted to mention? Oh, Pulse, man. Pulse has got their new zero. Pre-order now, you save $30. Use coupon code DUDE, you get this baby for $89. No more excuses to not know what's going on in your grow environment all the time. The Pulse Zero is a small little unit. You can have the app on your phone, get notifications via email, text, whatever you choose. When any set points are out of their parameters, such as lights on at the wrong time, humidity is too high, temps too high. All this jazz is insurance, all that jazz. Insurance for your growth. So check out that Pulse Zero, guys. It is a hot deal. Pre-order now at PulseGrow.com. Coupon code dude. And the pros are all this. PreGrows.com forward slash pro. One thing I got to point yeah. out about their website, dude, is like, you know how like every website has that thing like you know, we ships before Christmas if it's right. like Thanksgiving time. Right on the thing says ships before 420. <laughs> That's pretty awesome. <laughs> Shout out. Uh, yes. Uh, they know what they're doing. You cool. There, right? You cool with me, Paul. You cool. Uh, I will say, <laughs> Rambo. Any plans? <laughs> Is anything going on yet? I'm thinking about coming down to the bakery. For yeah, I was. I, I thought my friend, the dude, was coming to visit. We were going to all party, man. Let's do it. That's all right. That's the problem with the cup. Something the cup yeah. being right after 420. It's like we kind of have our own 420. No, we'll be fine, man. Dude, come on down 420. We'll party it up. Nice. Yes, yes, I like it. I'm sure, there's plenty going on in Denver, Colorado. Take it to nutrients. What are the biggest things that you, I see you listed as the biggest blind spot? Because like we're just ignorant to the spending a lot for. <clears throat> you know what? I do uh, videos over at the Scotty Real Four Twenty channel. I'll do do like a specific. Uh, uh, what we do like it, just topic specific videos and i know it sometimes i'll talk about how to avoid something or how, how to avoid a, a bud rod or bugs or something like that and then times i'll sometimes i'll talk about how to get more how to get better and the ones where it's they call them aspirational titles they do so much better because people want to believe in something they want to be like oh shit if i watch this video i'll do better or if I buy this product, I'll do better. That would that works even better, believe it or not, than buy this product or you're, or you're going to get bugs or you'll have trouble. You know, the fear response works, but that aspirational thing works better with human beings. And when you have 20 different bottles and you're like, each one of these will make you a little bit better. You know, this one does this for you. You start thinking in a human way of like, oh, the more I buy, the better it will be. You know, if I buy the grand master level, you know, the 14 uh, bottles, I'm going to make great, great product, right? Well, why wouldn't they have those products? <laughs> they didn't make them better. Thank you. Thank you. It's, uh, uh, what do they call it? Cognitive dissonance? I wouldn't call it that smart. Either. That, yeah. Yeah. There you go. <laughs> Sorry, I was looking. I was trying to find. Uh, you said the grand master level. It was advanced nutrients. Oh, I got it. <laughs> Don't worry. It's ever. I, I got it. I, I tell you what. I first I want to shout out. I will get to advanced, but uh this is GH three part. This is the Flora series. They've had this since I want to say the 80s, if not the 80s, the 90s. Grow micro and bloom, uh, very simple and good quality. There's still a lot of universities that use this stuff. 
Um, it's legit. And I just want to say, what do they got? Cheers and jeers. Mm -hmm. I will give cheers to General Hydroponics for coming out with legit product a long time ago. Always, always good uh, consistency, not too expensive. So uh, things have changed so much. We talk about uh, some of the BS marketing or some of the, the products that were, I, don't know, I think that took advantage of growers. And I will have to say advanced nutrients, man. The odd stuff was so expensive and there were so many parts of it that I just, it seemed like bullshit to me, man. I didn't think that was so cool. And it wasn't, I, I can't say that some of their products, because definitely I worked at a few different grocery stores, uh, you know, sold a crap load of it. And some growers were swearing by certain products that they wanted, whether it was one in their line, they're using another nutrient. And that can happen, of course, across the board. Um, but there were too many. I don't want to say. We'll click on that, will you? Sorry. Lot, oh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> right? Come on. Come on, man. That's a little too much. You know, and they're just like, hey, if you want to be, if you're just a hobbyist, use these four products. If you're uh, really serious, if you're going to be the expert. You Ooh, got professional. professional. It's after professional. Grandmaster, <laughs> Please baby. don't be master grower. Uh, 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 they're close. Grandmaster. <laughs> It's so goofy. No, the Grandmaster has 12 bottles. Boo. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Like, okay. I did. I just remembered, like, uh, I have a link right here, Grandma, to Amazon. It's Bud Candy for $63 a gallon. And if you do, just Google Bud Candy ingredients. It's it's very simple. Um, here, I'll click on them. You got, you got the next one's the ingredients. Water. It is uh, soluble magnesium. Okay, I think it's magnesium nitrate. So that's essentially the magnesium nitrate. I'd rather have magnesium sulfate in mine, so which is Epsom salt. So oh, wow. you can use that's bug it? candy or Epsom salts. And then it does it. That's all it lists. It does have a couple sugars in there that are right. microbe food. Yeah. They're fancy yeah. sugars that come from wood. Definitely or need fancy sugars because like molasses doesn't work. Thank so you. I, gotta say, Thank wow, you. I fell for that marketing. That's that's a shockingly little amount of stuff in there. Yeah, man, for such for a popular degree. product, I've seen many people use that. It's yeah, it's got cool yeah. graphics though, don't it? it it's does. way it looks way cooler. Than <laughs> yeah. yeah. Exactly. As you pull up the label that I fell for, Grambo, some of their labels are <laughs> really, really pulled me in. It's like, man, I just need to get this bottle for some reason. It just looks Can't like Can't stop a looking at it. Oh, the, wow. the little shrimp guy. What, how would you describe that? No, this guy, check this out really quick. This is just, I call this advanced marketing right here. Yeah. Dude, we'll find your link in a second. <laughs> I promise. <laughs> but uh, yeah, this I guess this guy did all all this marketing for advanced, but- I think he's just his artist page, actually. Yeah. But just a bunch of, I mean, we remember Big Mike. He was smart enough uh, to, I was, you know, a decent sized grower from Florida. We went up to, what was that event? Any, what, what, what event did we go up in BC, dude? And he picked um, us up in a Hummer and shit stuff. It probably weird. called the Lift Expo at that point. Is I think it was still called the Lift. It was like 04 or something. Yeah. He was the first baller guy that I, and most of the guys in the, in the hydro industry were pretty chill. And then big Mike came along and it was really, it was like the strip club mentality. You know? Yeah. Yeah. It was kind of larger than life. It was interesting, man. It was interesting. I don't hate on anybody, but I just thought it was kind of crappy to uh, just, I don't, you know what it is? I think that the people that offer real value uh, are the ones that stuck around. You can't, I can't get Bud Candy anymore. I'm sure, yeah, you can. And I'm sure there's certain people that have 12 and 15 bottle systems. I'm sure people are going to yell and scream that advanced nutrients is good stuff. You know, it's just the whole way that they went about marketing it that really kind of made me feel icky. Icky. Be, uh, I think you're reacting to how they sort of made it more complex. Yeah. And unnecessarily. Very much the opposite, which is like, hey, it doesn't have to be so complicated it's not that hard i don't want to be i will be man they're, they're supporters of the show but i will give a full-on shout out to canna when i got to colorado i wanted that up my game i was coming from deep water culture and all that stuff and uh, the guy Corey over at way to grow said you want to just get into something that's going to give you quality canna cocoa 10 gallon smart pots and canna a and b well that's that the difference 
<laughs> Ola has from day one, like it's always the same product. It's always very consistent. <clears throat> Though we were just talking about the advanced nutrients, I dealt with many inconsistencies in their bottles and people that were work at you know grocery store owners with that wouldn't get they wouldn't comp them back on the bottles. They'd offer them just more stuff. Like, oh, we owe you money, but stem will be you like just weird stuff. But anyway, yeah, can has always been consistent. Michigan Matt, commercial grower, one of the reasons he relies on some of their products is this exactly you gotta be consistent every time with your doses. If you get something off, it's gonna screw shiz up. And it's basic two part. It is very simple. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. The folks that offered the real value, I feel like I have to turn this into a real growers commercial, don't I, man? No, but um those are the those are the folks that stuck around. You know, it's the all the gimmicks are are been thrown by the wayside, you know? No, seriously, I was uh uh thinking about real growers recharge and I was thinking about the ingredients in it. And it was because I was looking at advanced nutrients. I was doing research last night and I go, all right, if I was going to replace recharge, how many advanced nutrient products would I have to have? And I made a list ready. And I don't know if this would even replace it because it's different stuff, but voodoo juice is a bacteria that they have. Bud candy. All right, that doesn't, I don't have magnesium in there. Piranha is their fungi. Tarantula is a separate bacteria. Ancient earth is a humic. B52 is fulvic and aminos with kelp. <laughs> That's pretty How crazy, you put them right? In the same bottle. Or just don't put them in liquid and just put them in a concentrated powder form, man. But uh, yeah, there's my Real Growers Recharge commercial. For the week. I like it. Number <laughs> one, it. supporter of Dude Grow Show. Guys, you can check out realgrowers.com. Go on over there. It's where you can check out real buckets, grow knots, simple nutrition, yeah. and recharge. Recharge does say, I'll add a, line, a few different lines. It takes a few different bottles off the shelf for sure. Uh, I had somebody try it. That's uh, a funny quick side story. I was doing, I liked, uh, I think it was Arts Green Technologies or Solutions back in the day. I used their A and B and recharge. I wanted to do a two part bottle, so three products from a whole grow. It's like shit, this is working really good. I'm gonna get my one of my buddies on this recipe, and I gave him the A and B to use and some recharge A and B grow. And he thought the A and B grow just meant that's your that's your that's what you use to grow weed with. So he's like a month into flowering, still using the A and B grow. I'm like, how's everything going? You know, like he just didn't know. Like you have an A and B flower, you have an A and B grow. So get some green uh, green weed coming out of there. They, sh- they should call it C and D. <laughs> anyway, right. keep it simple. Keep it simple. Uh, yeah, thanks, Scotty, for the, the keeping it simple, my grow. So, where are we going from here? Root zone? I was just going to say, man, sterile root zone was something way back in the day that everybody was into. Oh, you are, well, you were asking why those deep water culture buckets were so popular. And it was because you can see the roots. You know, we appreciate when we can see something. And if you can look, it takes a bit of faith to be like, oh, yeah, well, I know there's good root system in that in that bucket. But to be able to actually see the roots and they're white, and fluffy, you know, or Pull whatever. Them and show them off to your friends. <laughs> but my point is, you can, it was actually a visible, a visible representation of, see it of working. success. Yeah, you can see it work. Everybody yeah. wants bigger roots. But, uh, man, it was just bare wire. It was like watching an electrical uh, panel with all bare wire. And you're like, all right, man, if everything goes good, I guess they're all right. You know, Spaghetti. but there's a rain. Yeah, so. Well, just uh, well, Lots of new product. Dude's. Dude's transparent, clear grow pot. That'd work well, no? It's called a cup and cup. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Done it. Two two cups, one plant. <laughs> ah, man. I, not, well. I will not well. click on that, man. I will not. <laughs> it's just microbes. Don't worry about it. But seriously, once you started lining the roots with microbes, man, plants got a lot less reactive. You know, it is like that wire coating, I'll say. A figure, just like nature, you know, you got to have microbes. It's like when you, uh, the basic analogy, when you walk through the woods and stuff's blooming, going off, producing fruits and berries and all this, nobody is out here throwing down any 2020, 20, 20. Like, <laughs> you know, giving this stuff anything. So it's, you know, learning from nature with microbes. Uh, it's an awesome way to grow. I agree, sir. Um, let's take it to some DDC producers, man. We haven't shot yeah. it on the show. We'll give it up to Tricone T Bone. What's up, Tricone? Tricone T Bone. Like it. Caveman Dave's. I'm out of the yeah. cave. Yeah, I don't know. Caveman Dave. Maybe not a cave. Caveman is a compliment, right? Hey, he likes the cave. Man. Is that a, I don't know. Is that a compliment, man? 
I don't think if my wife calls me a caveman, I'll be like, thank you. Eve, very much. Eve is a caveman. <laughs> you can do it. You can do it. Uh, two arrows. Two arrows. All right. Nice. Nice. DDC producers. I'm about to go in and look at it. I think we got some Crockett. Crockett. Crockett seeds. Is that right, Banner? You know your breeder you had with Crockett? Crockett. Um, Crockett. Yeah. Was not, we have not hooked those up yet. Go in and look for that. Post. <laughs> All the recent posts list your DDC benefits. The coupon code for the DDC Cup, DDC merch. You produces, you get, I don't know, I think it's 15 or 20% off on merch over at dudegirls.com forward slash shop, hats, trays, journals. Uh, we do have merch and working on more for the DDC, DDC Cup. Custom bowls we're getting made, uh, as well as, man, we're going to have all kinds. Of, I got more patches coming in. That's where the event's fun, actually. The DDC Cup, the 21st of June, or sorry, 1st of June, if I haven't told you. Um, yeah, it's a good time to pick up on some unique merch and genetics. Banner just put up the vendors. If you guys want to see the vendors, a lot of our vendors are listed at ddccup.com so you can see which breeders are going to be there, uh, who you want to talk to and come hang out. It showed me a picture of Tops today, my Google picture frame that's always spying on me. Mm-hmm. And I uh, forgive it. Showed me a picture of Tops dressed up like Mario at the last one, <laughs> at the last event. Ah, <laughs> uh, good stuff, man. I didn't tell the people, although Grambo has it up, dudegrows.com forward slash support. Thank you, DDC Producers. Uh, I didn't mention the 420 happy hour. Actually, Scotty, you hung out last Friday. That was a good time, man. The 420 happy hour is like the core DGC <coughs> hanging out. It was that fun. Still still. Uh, it's, that's reposted if you want to check them out. I always repost them over on Patreon if you missed the live, so go check it out. Yes, I was yeah. just hanging out. Had nothing to do yeah. on 420 on Friday and was like, dude. Psyched that the happy hour is going on, man. It's like, yeah, I, I was sick, and Scott messaged me. He's like, he's like, get on, get here, on. I, was, I just got my puff coat. I was like, let's do this. That was fun, man. That's that was fun. Yeah, happy hour is awesome. Shout you out were to- sick. You were sick, but you just got your puff coat, huh? Yeah, I felt bad. It wasn't that sick. Uh, <laughs> was Not after that, man. Hey, dude, uh, th- this is pretty cool. And I was trying, me and Banner were texting each other about like old school cannabis, and uh, they, I don't know. I found this article. 20 vintage photos that prove cannabis was more popular than you thought. <laughs> and I mean, well, dude, I was not expecting it's that. Great, man. Just scroll this. I mean, that's like oh, a, is that a big hookah? group hookah Whoa. that they're using there. What's that from? That like looks eight? old. I mean, that's got to be at least 100 years ago. That's oh, a, nice. That's some old school bud, right? That's there. a good one, right? there. That is not like Indian hemp right there. They're going to smoke that. That is not. Huh? There's a famous story about uh, George Washington in his uh, in his harvest notes. He's the commented how to separate the potent hemp seeds from the non potent ones. And yeah, yeah. I'm kind of believing it. Yeah, man. it's very yeah weed, man. Here, scroll down a little more. There's That's, some weird. I mean, is it really that? Stupid? <laughs> oh, look at the babies. <laughs> they're, they're, they're weird, look at those babies right? just hanging out. Chinese hemp grown for a seed. All oh, right, yeah. See, what's that one all about? We used to make <laughs> great stuff cattle. out of it too. Wow. Yeah, that's like some South Africa. So there's some seeds. Australia. Now. Yeah. I'm not saying that they're not growing it for seed, but that guy. Oh, look at this dude. Ain't smoking seed hemp right there. Man. That is uh, right here. This is a unidentified student at Harvard in 1890 with a hookah. Smoking <laughs> a hookah. So shout out Harvard. Scroll down. There's a couple more where they look really high. <laughs> they're always a step ahead. These are great. I love right. seeing this 100 year old cannabis use. This what a dispo look like back in the day. <laughs> Class it up. It's this kind, guy. It's kind of what they still look. Scroll down and see, the, and see what does it say there, man? Oh, the, what, the, in the veil of smoke. It, wait, what's it say? In the veil of smoke from a pipe of clay, I picture my sweetheart far away. Oh, ah. this is my hero. What does that mean? He just wants you to go away. Where do you think he got it from? I would... <laughs> <laughs> like he didn't, he didn't grow that, right? I don't know. The it's other photos, way. like you could see, those people are pretty much growing it. But like, wh- where is this guy buying it from? I mean, back they're growing days, it. I think. Yeah, they probably grew it in the they're schools. They're growing it. Yeah. That's a, the one that with the woman in the backyard. That was regular. Like, that was weed they were cultivating a smoke. Now, here, is this a bust? This looks like a bust. Oh. Oh, I'm right. Oh, the, the, the annual collection of cannabis seizure in New York. Jeez. 1924. That is a lot of weed. Yeah. <laughs> So they were definitely smoking weed. Oh, <laughs> and oh yeah. Granny looks high there, well, doesn't she? The, 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 you might want to stop the scroll there. Uh, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. How dare you? <laughs> That's awesome, though, man. I'm going to look on my own time, though. <laughs> <laughs> what are these folks doing? 
This sucker oh, yeah, it's fiber. Wow. What is he this? Mendo is turned into Mendo dope all of a sudden. It's <laughs> awesome. Not bad. 1912. Nice little forest. Yeah. Oh, wow. There's a man. It says a man wearing a suit of straw standing amongst him. You can barely see him there. Wow. It's a magic eye painting. This is cool. This is, this is like very. Whoa. This is Charlie Brown. I grew hemp. <laughs> Poor Charlie Brown's weed tree. It's a sad, sad. It's a sativa. (laughs) Some haze, bro. Don't you care? I'm only smoking. What the? I'm only smoking. Is this my Thunder the Barbarian? (laughs) What is happening here? This is a meme. Wow, that's like better not be memes rule. Berries and cream, berries and cream. I'm a boy who smokes berries and cream. (laughs) No, I don't know what to believe in, man. All right, I'm like only smoking rope, berries right. and cream, dude. It is so weird, okay. man. Was, Go was, smoke your whole okay. cat. Relax. Was, it's was, only rope. That was the last oh, picture. God. That was that was a what way to end on. Don't you care? Oh, Zowie, I'm only smoking rope. Wowie, Zally. <laughs> oh man. What yeah, else, dude? Jen, what else you got? Sorry, yeah. I was. <laughs> This is my first third bowl of show and third third bowl of the day. So starting the weekend right. All I didn't right. know if you're going to the first evidence of smoking pot was found in a twenty five hundred year old pot. I, uh, uh, ironic. Where is that? How oh, ironic? That one's cool, man. <laughs> oh, there we go. Yeah, that one is cool. <clears throat> Check that thing out. They found THC. They found resin in it. We're gonna have to uh, arrest everybody <laughs> here. That, that's paraphernalia. Oh, that's big pretty is- crazy though, right? It's decent size. I mean, think they were taking the whole plant. It wasn't a hundred dollars a quarter back then, you know. So they would just take the. You're whole, just bonfire in it. You're bonfiring that stuff. Yeah, that's where wooden, the term bowl came. from. Wooden bowls known as braziers. Bra- no, but that's a brazier, and that's what my grandma Brazzers. used to call her bra. Yeah. Makes sense, doesn't it? Huh. Fascinating. Yeah, two bowls, man. Yep. Uh, yeah, it's pretty crazy, right? Twenty five hundred years ago, they were smoking weed. Old school hot boxing basically is how they did it. <laughs> That's yeah. cool. Yeah, it's uh, pretty cool. Yeah, Traces Gravity of- Bong invented. Uh, we're gonna get to that because really? Gravity Bong has its own Wikipedia page. Just hang really? On. <laughs> yes. Oh, I'm fascinated. You just hang on. Hey, Gre- uh, Banner sent me this. Oh. Sorry. Go ahead. What do you got? Oh, just the animals that love being high. It's, I just okay. I just want to say that this is way crazier than you think it is. It's the top ten animals that love me. Like, yeah, okay, the cat catnip's cool and all, but it, it gets really interesting pretty quick. Which is the one? Is the, the dolphin that passed the puffer fish around? Yes. Yeah, I remember that one. That's right. Bees. <laughs> bees get high? There so there's a whole bunch of animals that wind up consuming alcohol from like fermented fruits and stuff. Oh, I've heard, yeah, birds do that really, and stuff. Like, kind of weird. Uh, I don't think it's fun. intentional though. All the time, I know birds that do it. Like they always used to fly into my grandpa's window. <laughs> yeah, I did not know that. That's one. Of, that's on here. That's one of the when bird because I always thought it was just a reflection because it would be like after it rains or right. whatever. But turns out it's from them being drunk. Wow, I have had birds fly into the window before, right? Yeah, I've, I've been like watching TV as a kid and being like scared shitless from this thing just flying into yeah. the window. Ah. This is the Joe Rogan and Anita Muscaria story. Uh, the mushrooms, yeah. the reindeers, yeah. <laughs> the caribou, the reindeers that eat mushrooms. Yeah, this they- is a good score. This is what me and Banner do on the weekends, man. We send each other videos. When you like think that. about, I don't know the full history off the top of my head. It's hard to explain it to my wife, but the backstory of Christmas and Santa Claus. It, is Santa is a oh, mushroom. Yeah, it's weird. Yeah, Santa is a mushroom. It's you guys. pretty weird. That's for sure. It's a hundred percent true too. I, I I did a deep dive several years ago. He looks like a <laughs> yeah. I bet you did, right? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> But yeah, go ahead and go ahead and get, give that a ride on your own time. It, it's it's well worth it. I'll give you an update on uh, for my my hound dog that's ten years old. She, I'll just be like after dinner, like you want some weed, and you know she perks up, and I'm doing it because she has some hard. I don't know if they're tumors. There's some spots that will go up and down. What you know, if I if I literally if I give it to her every day for like two weeks, I can. I know, wow. I'm sure that guys that it helps out, but. She gets high. Like I give her some with cream cheese, and then she's she's happy with it. She'll stand there, literally, like on all like this with her paws down up, and then she'll just be doing this, like back and forth. 
Yeah. She looks happy. The sweat. But then she'll get right into a tug of war. Like it doesn't affect her to go right into like a tug of war match with the other dog. It's just when she stops moving. It's like a smile and a gentle sway. I love it. It's like she's thinking. It's just like, I'm thinking. Ah, I told you. Chill out. Wait, tug of war? <laughs> when yeah, I some dogs. Her, I always ask her. She knows what I'm doing. I'm like, you do you want some weed? And she just, oh, all right, let's go over to the fridge. I give her the option. You know? Some dogs like weed. They do. And then some dogs don't, by the way. That's also true. Anyway. Strain, no, my other dog dependent. has never had experience <laughs> dog exposure to weed. Got a little bit and threw up all the way through. It's not cool. Yeah, you be careful with your pet. I'm not saying this is the right yeah. version for all dogs. Mm-mm. No. No. You be you, okay? You do you. Uh, we're not, yeah, we're not advocating anything. Uh, I tell you what, man. Uh, yeah, I got, I got one, and that is, uh, you know, we're talking about how far we've come from uh, growing, and just I had to put it in here as a little follow prohibition. Just how far we've come, just as acceptance of cannabis in general. You know, you've gone from. God, uh, my buddy going to jail for five years for having 10 or 12 plants in a closet to, uh, all right, it might've been a couple more, all right. <laughs> but to uh, being able to remember the backpack days when you just bring it to the store or you could call, you know, let the authorities in and they'd be like, all right, you got a card. Here you go. You know, uh, you don't even get a ticket for it now or in Michigan, 4,000 plants and you don't and you just get a ticket. That's pretty crazy. <laughs> Anyway, I thought it was cool just that it went from no medical use schedule one, which it is still schedule one, but dude, three quarters of the population, three out of every four people in America believe that it's medicine or at least would vote for it as medical. Yeah, that's pretty amazing, man. That's some serious progress. No, oh, that's really awesome. I mean, that's uh, and w- is that what this artist just I didn't see business of cannabis dot com. It's like mm-hmm. be true. Pharma industry showing growing interest in cannabis as MA activity increases. Do you have a summary, a, a review of this article? Yeah, to scroll. I do. Is it so attractive now? And cannabis is still, it's still schedule one, but it is such a, just a, a sure thing that big pharma will not keep their, their meat hooks off it. And so they really are coming for it, man. That's what the schedule three thing is about. Uh, so it's, it's interesting. I don't think they're going to be able to take our growers rights from us or at least not small scale. Um, but you know, it's scary as hell. It really is shady. That big pharma is definitely coming. (laughs) Is definitely coming. What are you doing? I was, I was trying to look up, uh, the what M and A, but I accidentally Googled soda to the roach. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. My- yes, boric acid kills cockroaches. All right. I'm from Florida. I know this stuff, man. All right. I was just curious what M and A activity is. Marketing and or uh, merger and acquisition. My oh, banner. My man. Anyway, it's just uh uh, this is another article I just found really quick. GOP Congresswoman worries that moving marijuana to schedule three could allow big pharma to control it. Um, yeah, <laughs> yeah, that's my summary of that, man. So, yeah, yeah, I'm not sure it's just the title you agree with. You give a thumbs up. I'm uh, just saying, keep a lookout as things are changing and things are getting more accepted. Um, uh, yeah, I think you're going to see a lot of this big business coming in, and it's just so rather something broad. to keep an eye on. You're supposed to write titles if you could basically moving into schedule three, marijuana. Controlled by big pharma. I mean, like what aspect of it? Some of it. And I always question, is that a horrible thing? If people can use insurance to access it for legitimate shit. We'll see. We'll see as it unfolds. Yes. Yes. I tell you what, man, we were talking. Uh, yes. Sir. Yes, sir. No, go ahead. That's okay. You can, you can go, man. All right. I talk too much. All right. I'm just high. What do you guys you talk morning. too much. That's Canadian or something. Hey, no, no, no. You, you. It's not about me. It's about you. I couldn't do it. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Sorry. <laughs> uh, if you missed the, uh, the for a year ago, talking about the last Monday live show, guys. Check it out. That was a great show. There's a couple of things we didn't cover on there. We were talking about there's great information from Howard about making concentrates at home, um, pressing, but, bubble bags just if you're a home grower or want to make some shiz listen back to that episode jr2 was hanging out um we have some good information and matt from i can good live show but we didn't cover the legality still be careful depending on what states you're in um is this the article you found is it legal to make, make manufacture marijuana concentrate from the reich 
law firm, LLC? Yes, it is. And Grambo, do not scroll down. You are brilliant, by the way. You're talking about the best producer. All right, Grambo. You want me? We are working on, uh, we're working within Google's rules. Behind right? the scenes. Uh, turns out it is not legal to manufacture marijuana concentrates. Really? Uh, not if it's combustible. You can't have, you can't be using combustible stuff. As oh. long as you're just using a press, heat and pressure, bubble bags. Yeah, you're fine. But they don't want you using the uh, the solvents because they do have explosions, man. Oh yeah, they do. <laughs> it really happens. Oh yeah, they did. <laughs> they just happened in Detroit yeah, yesterday. You did. There was some explosion in Detroit a couple of days ago. Right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, because of concentrated manufacturing. Yeah, the oh, key phrase yeah. in this statute is using an inherently hazardous substance. So it only prohibits the manufacture of marijuana concentrates when a hazardous substance is used to extract the resin from the there's, resin from the cannabis plants, man. There's no combustion here, bro. Nah, it's man. Just ice and water. Yeah. There. There's no combustion, man. We're not, anything <laughs> that has a an, any any chemical or product with a flash point at or below 100 degrees Fahrenheit, then that's bad news, bro. All right. Wow. I'm a small one below. Yeah, I can't use my ether. Shoot, man, you don't need oh, what about my <laughs> petroleum ether. I wanted to follow up penalties, um, just in case you're possessing. A lot of states, I was using normal.org laws. A lot of states treat possession of concentrates. It says reference flower penalties, so it's like kind of the same. If you have this amount of flower or concentrates, um, we're going to treat you the same as far as the penalty goes. In Texas, <laughs> uh, dude. Hash and concentrate <laughs> possession of less than one gram is a felony. Less so, like if you have any, it's a felony. 180 days in prison, to two years, a ten thousand dollar fine. Yeah. Uh, it just goes up harsh from there. One to four. I don't grams. get it. Uh, That's yeah. insane, dude. I have a I have a felony in my hand right here. Yeah. Yeah, you know, yeah, and now Rogan is in Texas. They're always smoking. I know. Yeah, it's literally like Austin is like a little cannabis em- embassy in Texas. You know, Austin has different rules. Uh, we've had a lot of DGC comment that like, oh, I'm from Austin. The cops don't really care. Right. But if you get one outside, hour outside the city. Really? Oh, yeah. Oh, that's scary. Man. You're chair- <laughs> chomping at the bit for your hippie ass. Yep. Wow. Yep. Aaron, the uh, manufacturing <laughs> delivery, then you're really, the manufacturing delivery of one to four grams is a felony of two to 20 years. I don't know if any of that's mandatory, but it's, oh, you're wow. like the sale of paraphernalia, Sarah, sale of paraphernalia, first offense. <laughs> oh. <laughs> that's insane. So oh my God. Owning a head shop is illegal. <laughs> they really don't want you using cannabis. Oh, wow. I really don't like it. Falsifying a drug test. Oh, come on. Really? <laughs> they have it listed. It's only two grand. I don't think that's a crime anymore. Oh, and 180 <laughs> days in jail. Never mind. That sucks that people, like, that's the penalties for, it's just. It's ridiculous. Yeah. It is, especially given the other things, substance problems around. Wow. Yeah. You know, especially in Texas, right? Everything's bigger in Texas, including the cannabis fines. Wow, dro- and- yeah. Drug <laughs> fines. <Man. laughs> disappointed, Texas. Wow. Hey, Banner, don't mess with Texas. <laughs> disappointed. That boys you in cannons do. <laughs> I got a couple more shout outs here, man. I was going to, I always first wasn't called this. Hey, Belize Bob. That makes sense. It's footed. No, it is Belzy Bob. Belzy Bob. Belzy. Yes. Yeah. Up, BGT. What do you got, Scotty? <laughs> I got a large car. 359. Large car. It's rich. Drives a big car. I wonder what it is. You know, it's got to be is a, it a Porsche, right? A big Lincoln Continental or something. Maybe yeah. a Caddy, 1978 Old, old Caddy. Malibu Impala, maybe. Ooh, a cars are big yeah. cars, man. Big cars. <laughs> <laughs> How about the Diabetical Levitate? Diabetical Levitate, all right? It's two different things. All That's right? deep, man. Yeah. Yeah. And look, guys, newgrows.com forward slash support B D G C uh produce the show for real, man. You guys are getting some value from this, value for value. We make it happen. So yes. comments. Comments. Ready? Would you like to enter our comments? Our gravity bong segment of the show. Sure. Remember yeah. I asked for comments about the gravity bong? Yeah. Yes, it turns out we got a bunch, man. And <laughs> by the way, can we just Right off the bat, just give a shout out, man, to the water jug gravity bong court. We've never done one of these. No, come on. You've never gone to a cake party? 
They got that going on. <laughs> Come on, that's awesome. That's crazy. Mm. Yeah, too much. What could possibly that's go crazy. wrong? Tallahassee, nineteen ninety-two. Bro, you right. know that's some quality weed in there too. No, you're bringing a funnel exactly. to the top of that staircase too. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> uh, that's good yeah. stuff. Anyway, uh, we put it out there. We asked for some comments. Uh, weirdest gravity bong, Mike Locklear. My friend once turned an entire Coleman ice cooler into a gravity bong with the dirty used melted ice water, soggy chips oh, and debris yeah. floating all around in it. <laughs> That's pretty mm, gross. Soggy man. chips. <laughs> I know what he's talking about. Yeah, we're not totally. cleaning the cooler. We're just putting the two liter in Oh, there. no. Mm. Uh, and everyone loved it, too. Right? Riz yeah. Grove. Yes, they did. I remember choking I remember choking myself with a gravity ball in the bathtub. What does this mean? Mm. Like, oh, I never was, thought of that. Yeah. It, gravity balls in ba- the bathtub? Yeah, yeah. He filled the bathtub up, man. No, sh- well, no, no. Out. Like, are you in the bathtub? I hope not. That okay, that's be. what I, that's that what I thought. Creepy. But, uh, that's what it is. Yeah, you do you're it all hanging in the out in the bathtub. You're just chilling out in a bath, and, and you're just... Bubbling through your, you know, defoil. Yeah. So your wife your calls up your friends for the intervention. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> we'll get before, it when it comes out. <laughs> the key is before the loofah, dude. Oh my god, I like it. Uh, uh, hey, here's on here, Bruce. Go ahead. Yeah, Bruce Benner. Bruce Benner, not Bruce Banner. Bruce Benner. As a kid, gravity bongs were how we dabbed. <laughs> right? With all these gravity bong stories, I, I might actually have. Can I give you guys my, uh, yeah, my gravity do, bong story? Do. I think I win. My, my buddy, if, if you're out there, Alex Schlepphorst. What a name, right? Old Polish kid I grew up with. We took like a, the worst name ever. We took a dozen of those old metal bowls. We screwed them into a garbage can, put it into his pool, did a gravity bong, and then we swim up underneath and we would just exist in a in a cocoon of smoke in a pool you get so high you couldn't exist but then you had to swim back under and, and resubmerge it was crazy shout out to alex schlepp horse 1997 <laughs> you guys are creative that's a good one <laughs> that's pretty cool man props man that's yeah, a good I mean, one i i've totally forgot that till this moment it's like holy crap you go under the dome of wheat <laughs> yeah yeah wow. thankfully we didn't die. wow that's pretty cool hey do me a favor grambo um Gravity Bong has its own Wikipedia page. As it should. Man. As it should. I was kind of impressed, man. Okay, but is it like a sense? Gravity Bong. No, look, it scroll down. I love it's this. got the it's Gravity got the Bong socket. Also known as a GB. Yeah. <laughs> or a right? GB. No one called it a GB. A hey, Gibby. Have... Scroll down really quick, man. <laughs> Yo, that's so hey, the... right there. <laughs> Come on. Is that not awesome or whatever? Well, it's the lid it's the and socket. it's a socket. The socket. Yes, they the nailed socket it. Socket bowl. They Come on. It. This is pretty good. And look on the there's the diagram right there. <laughs> oh, that's fantastic. <laughs> it's done very well, right? You know what you can't do anymore though? Cause does anybody still sell three liter bottles? I don't think so. No. You remember when they had the three yeah, liter bottles, dude? Good. You gotta just use the big water jug thing now, man. I love the the guy who wrote this article's name is Brian Griffin. <laughs> That's <laughs> pretty awesome. <laughs> Shout out. I don't trust anything written by a real person anymore. <laughs> oh, yeah. Uh, Griffin also wrote that the bong is quite difficult to conceal. <laughs> <laughs> hey, they have gotten fancy. Do me a favor. As, as I was doing research for the show, that's a pretty fancy gravity bong. Right? <laughs> Who sells that? Seth Rogen? Jesus. You know what? He sells the next one. <laughs> <laughs> oh my what's god. What's the red what's the red part there? Is that just like a that's, rubber stopper? That's a seal, I yeah, bet. Yeah, or that something. was the seal for the bottom. Dual purpose for <laughs> a gravity bong, and it also is a I don't know. Well, what else? Because if it's two pieces of glass, like you're gonna drop that. Yeah, that's what I think. It's probably just so the bottom doesn't crack. But that's pretty classy, right? Very classy. <laughs> and here you go. This is the classiest one. Yeah, this is the one. This is Seth Rogen's. Is that right? Yeah, I think he's an investor. Oh, yeah. yeah this this is pretty cool. student glass. Isn't it, like, really expensive, though? <laughs> yeah. Like, I don't know, too but much. it is neat. It is cool. Though. As long as they're celebrating the evolution of growing in cannabis. Uh, Look, they have the a, evolution. They got a the dab one. Bong, right? They have a dab one band. Yeah, that's pretty sweet, man. Get it. <laughs> so it just fills itself, right? Is that the whole benefit there? And then you just take the take the hit? I don't know what's happening, but it's pretty you amazing. Don't, you don't have to draw. So when you got F U money, man, you get one of these. Uh, Grandma, that's only ninety nine bucks. That's not that bad. bad. Not horrible. That's not that bad. Okay. You can see the uh the Grateful Dead edition. 
Six hundred bucks. No, banner. where? What's the on it? Banner is where? Where? <laughs> What's on? Ah, <laughs> there you go. Steely. Uh, it's only six. Yeah, oh, okay, that's cool. That's Plus, worth an extra five hundred, man, right there. Oh, lightning bolts. It's pretty. I'll yeah. give it to him. These not bad. Not eight, bad. Eight Very bucks goes to. And you get the hookah tube thing. Uh, uh, you don't have to put your mouth on the end piece. That's you can pass it around the coffee table. That's pretty dope. It does prevent the cup cough, right? You don't have to put your mouth on it physically. Grandma, you can stop if they give us one. I'm taking. So <laughs> cool. Wait, how much is it? Oh <laughs> yeah, six hundred bucks. Six hundred. Take take. It it's is a lot cool, of money. Bro. I tell you what, the way things are going though now, with things with being legal, you could display that if you had a nice bar display that instead of stuff remember back in the 90s they had the six the six liquor carousel everybody yeah. had one of those this could be the new thing you just that would be an bar. excellent piece to have at at the bar yeah i like that yes so anyway we're, we're we're moving on up in the world man you know and by the way it's not a bong it's a gravity infuser. it's a gravity infuser good point banner it's yeah. it's, it's, a, it's a whole it's all another thing that way they can take credit cards on the website you know, that's funny though look they actually list what i said can i burn incense in it that's what i want to know contactless consumption is one of their selling points it's an interesting thing man i thought it was fun yeah. to hang out on a saturday yeah, Quick cool. reminder for you, for y'all listening or watching, and take take your phone out of your pocket or move that mouse or get on the keyboard and subscribe, guys. Subscribe to the show if you're having a good time, you're finding value in this. Uh, we're helping your your morning, your day, your week, your evening, whatever it may be. That's a great way to help the show. And uh, yeah, appreciate it. We're trying to build our subscribership. Not that that's our listeners, man, and getting the message out. Trying to normalize this plan. Continue you have a good time. With you. I'm just trying to have a good time. Well, and it's a great reason to subscribe. We, you know, we deal with age gating a lot. So if we do get age gated, the only people who get to see our videos are the people who are subscribed. So yeah. it's a great reason to subscribe to us, not just for our own benefit, but y'all's too. Thank you, producer Grambo. Yes. You're the one that's benefiting. Hey, I got one more. This is about, yeah. remember the Cupsy? <clears throat> remember the Cupsy from yeah. last week? I want one. Yes. Yeah, Turpy 707 said I had a cupsy at the DGC last year. Yeah, at the, uh, at the DGC <laughs> cup, he had a cupsy. Yeah. <laughs> um, it's the best way. Water, filter, all your hits. Way better for your lungs. Just bring a towel, some water, and some ISO. With 75 entries, it will need to be cleaned. That? that is talking. That's how you know things have changed, What's that? right? Forget your towel. Cowley <laughs> action, man. That's so funny. But that's it. Tuxie and Cowley. When somebody's bringing their bong and they're like, I don't travel without my alcohol to clean the bong. That's how you know things have changed, man. It's getting kind of stuff. That is pretty stealth, though. That's no, that thing's cool. badass. Cups, the cupsy is bad. How much do you think that really um, water does a decent job then? I mean, if you're going to take 51 hits through a one hitter or 50 through the water filter on a cupsy, I mean, you're saving a bit of a bit of pain. Uh, I find this fascinating. Water. Too. You, you can buy exactly 10 cupsies for the price of a student bong. <laughs> It's <laughs> it's only sixty dollars for a cupsy. That's awesome. One student glass. Buy one for you and all or your friends. Or ten cupsies. <laughs> you know you can't put a number on it. I'm just curious what at what value does somebody say? Okay, well, you know at least if you're not going to dry or vape something, use a water bong because it's better for your lungs. There's something there. Yeah. Sure that. I mean, there's it's not magic. What is in the in the water? I think that's tar, right? I think yeah, all, the, like, all the black water. Yeah. And it's doing something. Yeah, I mean, it's not nothing that yeah. would be going into your lungs. I and mean, there is tar in cannabis. Oh, yeah. And the temperature reduction as well. Yes. All right. Shout out. I'm going to have to get myself one. <laughs> I want one of them water bongs. <laughs> Kips it. Oh, okay. I got one from Tony, man. I guess this is for you, Banner. I used to snowboard on edibles. Perfect duration for a session on the mountain. You know, so you eat some edibles on your way up or at breakfast, I guess. Yeah. Start coming on on the first lift. Yeah. And then, uh, I don't know, man. You can get confused. You don't want to get too confused, skid, man. Too all, you just, you, it's hard to do the first time yeah. necessarily. That's, a, but that's like, an advanced move. Yeah, right? Yeah, you got to dial it in and then you're... That's yeah, perfect. Yeah, you don't want to get too confused, man. They, no. The cool thing about the ski, you don't want to crash and die, man. No, <laughs> but the best part is all you got to do is get downhill, and you'll figure it out from there. There's yeah. no like, hey, which direction should I go? <laughs> you yeah, can't I mean, get lost. I, yeah, <laughs> you ever fall on weed? Yeah, man, I sure have. I sure have. Yeah, but you're like, if you smoke weed when you ski, you're bored. You don't. You're not like that. 
You're not no. that wasted. No, but on a crap load of edibles accidentally. Yeah. Yeah, no, yeah. yeah. Edibles, you, could, you could be. Yeah. Yeah. Could yeah. Be. Okay, right. <laughs> could be. <laughs> oh, man. Hey, dude, you remember we were talking about lab grade uh, cannabinoids and growing cannabinoids on yeast and E. coli? And how weird it, how every yeah, synthetic. How, yeah, how against we were. Uh, yeah. We were. This is yeah. I couldn't I couldn't ignore this comment from Bartholomew Farms. It says, Scotty, that's how they make uh, that's how they make synthetic insulin. They reprogram E. coli to make insulin. It's kept me alive since 1989. Yeah, good point, man. <laughs> good point. They do do it. Take a lot of other uh, medicines or beneficial you know, chemicals and grow them that way. So oh, I'm, I'm reading ahead and I'm getting excited. Yeah. <laughs> it's a two for one. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. All right. I'm with you, buddy. Dude, read the two for one from Bartholomew Farms. Uh, it says, and one more thought. I love bud. I love barbecue. I love competitions. Why can't we, why can't we merge both barbecue and competitions and cannabis growing competitions? Somehow I think nice. So just two in one, like the barbecue kickoff and then it's, <laughs> I feel like you have, uh, yeah, I think you got something there, man. I know dudes, in it, little, I know banners our, in our it. only limitation there is the, is the fire. Oh, we'll be fine. But otherwise, there's no combustion going on, man. All right. Right on. Yeah. I think some of the best barbecue is, though. But honestly, I think probably in the Bible Belt, maybe down in Texas, everybody else, people will say Kansas City, Missouri barbecue. Most places I'm thinking where the best barbecue is, is pretty still like prohibition land. I don't know if we could do it. Yeah. The plane, nobody says well, you Colorado. Can... Ooh, I'm going to Denver for that barbecue. Nobody says that. No one says that. <laughs> Not like that. They don't, man. They probably call it barbecue. Um, I don't know, man. I don't know. My, some of the best barbecue I've had is from Louisville, Kentucky. I was going to say Memphis, man. Memphis. I Louisville. Through there. And God, That's funny. Was it I think that some of the best barbecue I've ever had was in Louisville as well. Yeah, really? yeah, yeah. man. Interesting. Yeah. Uh, Texas has got cool, like, if you like, like, Stubbs beef ribs or whatever, Texas, like, you don't man. find that in other places, yeah. really. And uh, their brisket, like, dude, it's hard to beat a Texas brisket. I'm scared to go to Texas, man. I am, too, but, oh, man, but the barbecue's that good. Wow. You got to go to, you just go to Austin and then you're okay. Yeah. Okay. Lie right. It's the cannabis consulate. <laughs> They'll be waiting for me. Does uh, barbecue enhance your cooking skills, you think, Banner? I know when I'm going to, like, I have to cook something or or just cook it in general. Like, it's fun to get high for cooking. And I oh, think yeah. it can bring creativity to the kitchen as well. You will. A lot of other things, of course. Uh, you can I, also forget the broilers on, just so you know. Right? Yeah, so, yeah. I, uh, just a quick story. I, I had a buddy that uh, had, had a brother that um, they used to go to. There was a pig and pepper festival. Pig and pepper festival? Yeah. So it was in the fall and it's in uh, New England. I can't remember if it was Massachusetts or uh, Rhode Island. There's a but anyways, they they um, it was like a pepper and like a barbecue and like a pepper competition. So people would come and barbecue and then they would also have grow peppers or bring peppers and make salsa and stuff. And they had, com- you know, compete. And anyways, one year they they wound up winning a smoker and from this guy like out in Kansas. And it was a whole trailer. Oh, the, the trailer smoker. Yeah. 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 So anyways, so that encouraged them to uh, compete. So they started going every year and it was just a big, long weekend tailgate party. And so you when you say like uh, the barbecue, like it's just a bunch of hanging out and. Oh, there was a lot of drinking, smoking going on. And I bet. <laughs> I was all sorts of smoking. Yeah, yeah. So <laughs> it was uh, it was more of a I'm social down. kind of event, I guess is what I'm saying. Yeah, let them let put a cannabis category in there and I'll show up. Yeah. So that would totally <laughs> work, man. I like it. It's like the BBC Cup. It's a social event. It's a social event. Yes. But it's a social event. So you go smoke a bunch of weed, hang out, and like eat some barbecue. That. I- Sounds good. Throw me. some music in there, man, and you're like live music, and you're like <laughs> off to the races. Yep. As long as happy live. We're all we over speaker. Better if it's live, you know. Yeah, you need some live, man. We're gonna get a Sublime cover yeah. band for Banner. What <laughs> a Sublime cover uh, band! I said. <laughs> gonna get a a a, 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 a Rostosaurus, man. Ah, there we go. There we go. go. Yeah, see, all right, see you go. go. <laughs> Come on, man. You want to laugh? People like to do. Let's laugh a couple of things, man. First off, I just have something that blew my mind. I have a show, so I threw it on there. 
Um, I got some new Levi's jeans. All right. I keep a few, you know, well, there's my favorite pairs of jeans. So I replaced a pair and uh, my daughter goes, she goes, oh, you know, you're not supposed to wash those, right? I'm like, have you lost your mind? And I'm like, what do you mean? And she goes, yeah, you're not supposed to wash them. Google it. And Levi's CEO explains why you should never wash your jeans. Hold on. Are you talking about like <laughs> the like de- like denim, like unwashed jeans? Click, click it, man. Click it. Like, the, like the dark blue ones <laughs> or the. I have no idea, but Those Levi's is washed. telling me to never wash my jeans. I don't trust anything anymore, man. I think Levi's has jumped a shark, man. Yeah, that's it. I'm not even. No. I'm not. I'm not even reading. Do I just article. spray it with Febreze then? I don't know, no, man. He's a toothbrush. Wow, it's off, literally. Oh, oh God. Stay. Oh, All right. I, I guess it depends out. on what you do in your jeans. I check out. That is the yeah. dumbest thing yeah. ever, man. Neat. Ed, I is hey. We need a new idea. Like we need to just do something with this marketing campaign. Never hey, just come them. out and tell them to never wash your jeans. It's a genius. <laughs> the jeans are falling apart in the washing machine, boss. What would you say, do? dude? Would you say it's genius? Oh, Grandpa. Yeah. Damn. I'll fire myself. I'm Damn. sorry. I'm sorry. Hit I'm not. Gong. I'm not proud of that one. I'm not proud. <laughs> I'm not proud. <laughs> All right. So that's my PSA right there. And this was as, you know, I was looking for cannabis news and going California sober may be bad for your heart. So this is talking about California's global mean. Just smoking weed. No drinking. Yeah, no drinking, just smoking weed. At least it's or, my, or other, you know. And of course, it talks about uh, just that when you smoke anything, it's not good for you. You know, so if you smart, smoke a whole bunch of whatever. Uh, they say that you got higher risk of a heart attack or higher risk of a stroke. I really don't trust this though, because it was yeah. everywhere. If you were to copy and paste this, uh, into Google, the, the title, you'll see there's a hundred <laughs> versions of it. I was going to ask you if you think it's like, and they're all written by AI because they a, seem a lot of them to be written by AI. Scary. This is an opinion piece. It says it right there. But even if you, <laughs> so, so I'm already, I already, Grandpa, copy and paste that into another, that, that into another, uh, yeah, and just see what happens. I guarantee you that there's 50 different versions of it. Mm hmm. Going California set. I'm telling you, I saw it 50 times. That's man. very interesting. Yeah, so somebody wants that out there is all I'm saying. Which th- I would classify this as a does more harm than good. Okay, it hurts your heart. Well, you're going to have a lot of people that don't uh, get off of a lot of bad substances. You know, dude, yeah. you're right. This is the exact copy paste, dude. It's just like I think you just discovered like a conspiracy. Oh, come on, Scotty you guys Real. don't you, you guys don't follow Arkamax.com? Even you. down it's to California weird. sober being in the the single parenthesis. Who goes to Arkamax.com? They just she blasted it out everywhere. Man, they all right. Uh, now, now I'm interested, Lisa Jarvis. Let's find Uh-oh. out who you are. Are you real? C- continue with the show, Dance. Is it uh, real? I'll be back. <laughs> hey, I will shout out just talking about how far we've come. Hang on, Grandbo. Just go to the next one. Uh, they tried to sell me a, a cannabis drug test. And I was like, <laughs> they still exist? Oh, uh, I got to check my privilege. Oh, man. oh, no, that's a detox kit. I'm uh, sorry. Funny. And uh, Green God. <laughs> Whatever happened What's to the Niacin? <laughs> the, that's when you're back in my day. all weekend and the probation officer calls back in my day we just od'd on niacin nice <laughs> wait so yeah, that's man. not gonna that's not gonna help you pass a drug test it it, that, that will I, yeah. oh okay the golden seal don't you know gold golden <laughs> seal <laughs> is that still a thing i don't i know. hope not don't do it but oh my dude, god i forgot about that it's just a random i like that green gone when results matter <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's awesome. called Green Gone. Green Gone. Oh, wow. <laughs> Green <laughs> Gone. That uh, California Silver quickly is reminding me of when people try to give advice and uh, I don't know, either don't eat this or this is bad for you. Weed's bad for you. Alcohol's bad for you. Smoke's <coughs> bad for you. Where some people are just like genetic, like the word I think is like roaches. Like I had this neighbor in Colorado at the end of her court that the doctors were like, he's already probably 80 or 75. If you don't quit smoking, like you're dead in six months. He kept smoking. This guy literally was like Mr. Burns. There's like patches of skin. All, all, all. He lived like another, like another 10 years, dude. I swear. Like his, his daily meal was probably like a can of beans and a piece of toast. And some people just. Well, can, I, had a doc- neighbor. I had a doctor say to me one time, something that blew my mind. He goes, stress is the most dangerous thing. So if a cigarette cures your stress, I would recommend you smoke. 
And I was like, you're blowing my mind right now, man. Like, I think he's right. Didn't he go to great? He went to like that medical school in Grenada. It was Dr. He? Nick. Don't worry about <laughs> it. He's a, Hi, everybody. That's you should smoke. <laughs> yeah, that's Have awesome. a smoke. <laughs> my wife would like to smoke one cigarette a day when the stress is at the highest. And I'm like, you know, if you can control it, I, I, I could give, I could care less. Right. One cigarette a day. Tell her that my doctor I had 15 years ago. I will. I'm going to relay that okay. advice. Ah, Some a- Iowa doctor said it was fine. Yeah, the, as an ex-smoker, the thing about the stress is only for your next cigarette, though. Oh, God, man. Thank God I never... That's the that. only stress that it's curing, right. is your de- desire for another Thank cigarette. Thank God I found weed. It actually did something. Yes. Like, yeah. I'll smoke this because it does yeah. something. All it's doing is just turning off the stress for the addiction part. <laughs> I love it. Oh, damn, we're going long. I don't know what you want to do. Um, did I do have the best bait that the grocery store memes... Can we laugh at and who laughs? That's a category. I made it a category, man. But uh well, like there's a genre of Yeah, yeah, man. There's a whole genre of uh <laughs> Yeah, there's a whole genre of them. That's that's the starter pack right there. Do me a favor, click the second one, man. This is what got me started, man. I saw this astronaut and I'm like, yeah, I gotta be honest with you, that kind of is me, you know. <laughs> Do you notice other people being high when you go shopping now? I don't make eye contact. <laughs> no, no, I just have kidding. to admit, looks like he's in the candy aisle. Uh, I just got, shout out Canadian DGC J-Pen, sent me some very nice weed, and then two packs of Sour Patch Kids. I'm like, <laughs> at first I was like, these must be edible. So I was like checking all the them. <laughs> oh, so no, they're just straight Sour Patch Kids. And I'm like, these taste, and I never buy that type of stuff for myself. <sighs> so I was having some last night, like, because quote dessert, and they're so unnaturally weird what they do to your taste. Yeah. Now. They're yeah. Good. <laughs> it's it's like nothing in nature is like this, but it's satisfyingly weird. Yeah, I believe they call that ultra palatable in the food service world. Wow. Yes. Ultra power uh, winning. Is so They're winning. Yes. I literally hey, don't fair. take the bag to sit down with. Go ahead. Now they just click the last one for me because this is me. <laughs> it says go to the store to pick up milk, spend a hundred dollars, and forget the milk. The <laughs> end. Yep. Uh, I've done that. Yeah, I've yeah. totally done that. Yeah. I used to live down the street from a grocery store. It was great. Now not so much. You gotta make a list if you're high shopping. <laughs> take our word. Oh shoot. All right, come on, a cu- couple more, man. A couple more fun memes, all right? Yeah, you can check this out, man. Is this real? This is what my Facebook shows me, man. Dude, this is Subtropolis. It is where it's like a mine. Kansas City. Yeah, it is just dug out underneath. A, maybe it was a mine. I don't know. but yeah, It kind of looks like salt flats. Is it right? trippy or what, man? <laughs> what are they doing? It's a truck stop kind of thing or a truck. I don't know. Well, uh, they're just driving through it. Yeah, I think it's like a, yeah, like a truck stop thing. I thought, oh, man, storage. That's that's crazy. It's weird, weird right? Five hundred and fifty-five million square foot, eleven 1, hundred acre. Yeah, yeah, it's a real thing. Yeah, what is it? Very cool. It's Bucky's lair. <laughs> yeah, right. It's where Bucky was born. Bucky's den. Come on, that's creepy, right? We almost have a Bucky's banner. It's <laughs> coming in less than two weeks. <laughs> They, they've been pumping it up on the yeah. Day. You can't take I twenty five without fucking Bucky's. It's a coming. convenience store. You know that, right? You know guys? you're gonna yeah, stop. It's, there. it's just a truck stop. One hundred and eleven. Do me a favor. I want to listen to Einstein. All right, he's gonna give you some good advice here. All right. Am I wrong, Grambo? <laughs> says nobody will know you're stoned if you're always stoned. That's do, I literally would tell people that they should go to their first day of work high, <laughs> right? <laughs> That's That's man. Man. Yeah. <laughs> I've oh, heard that shoot. one. Yeah, go to your job interview high. Go to the first day high. Yes. And dude, Einstein was smart. <laughs> this next one's for you, dude. All right. And I looked at this. I thought that reminded was, me of you. I thought that was dude. could be, dude. Future dude. <laughs> Did you know if you garden in your backyard naked, your neighbors will build a privacy friends for absolutely no cost to you? Ooh, that's a good tip. <laughs> I'm telling you, my I'd Facebook to try that. is so messed up, man. It's so messed up. <laughs> yeah. Oh, nice. And uh, hey, dude, this last one. I tell you, we'll just go to the last one, man. Dude, that's pretty cool, right? You're all this is this made me think of you as well. Uh, that's shirtless awesome. man, and then this one too. Yeah. Man. Hey, is is that the, the girl from uh Oregon's finest? Who's that? The where you got this video from? It's like Lee Cohen or something like that. 
I don't know. Okay. I don't know. Um, yeah, this is pretty cool, right? I like it. I like to just do it. I like Nike, Nike came up with the best slogan too. I'm pretty sure that's probably copyrighted. Like I can't. Do <laughs> yeah, yeah. No, I think it's how about just do it. Cool about it. Just do it. <laughs> just get do it. Sued. I nailed it. Just do it. Perfect. Grow your Perfect. own banner. Wait, no, it, banana. Man. Banana. banana. Sorry, banana. Yeah, banana. 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 Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Who doesn't like bananas? All right, guys, stay higher. Hope you have a good weekend. Make sure you subscribe and uh, yeah, check out our shows and live every Monday coming at you Wednesday, 420 happy hour. If you're a producer, uh, goes.com forward slash support. You want to give a little bit more and vote with the dollars, guys. Peace out. Hey, good hanging out, boys. Have a great weekend. Take her easy. Later, dudes.